and we're back again after the second uh, mild one in a row with Anaheim being surprisingly low in heat. I know they don't usually have much anyway, but that was noticeably less than I'm used to from uh, even the unripe ones. And they don't really lose much heat when they ripen. Um, so, we're moving along to this bad boy. This is what I've been calling a bird's eye. I don't know if it actually is. Maybe I should just start calling it a red chili. Unknown red chili number whatever. <laughs> uh, but I grew these out of seeds I got from um, ha or Heavenly Harvest Farm. Uh, their uh, eBay ID is do for self now. That's number four. Um, and they sent me a good shipment of delicious peppers last year. I got the Zimboy Bob pepper, the Vitali, the White Bullet, or the Yellow Bullet Habaneros, which I'm growing this year. Uh, so they sent me some good ones. And uh, so, yeah, I highly recommend checking them out. I'm not sure if they're selling anything this year, but the, here we go with, uh, with the result of growing out one of the seeds from their peppers. Well, I remember this having a pretty good heat to it when I tried them last year. Like I'd, I'd estimate like 50,000 or so Scovilles. Ooh, it's got that that noticeable um, cherry-ish flavor or smell rather. Definitely a frutescence. A lot of seeds. So. Perfumey, cherry like, really sweet and tart. Just damn hot. Yeah, they're pretty warm. <clears throat> it's like a perfumish effervescence with a cherry essence to it. Doesn't taste like an annuum to my taste. This is why I put them as a fruit essence type. Yeah, my forehead's warming up underside of my tongue a little bit, tip of my tongue, good prickle in the throat. Tons of jewel. Yeah, they head good in the throat. Really peppery. <coughs> Excuse me. Low in the throat. Roof of the mouth a little bit. Under the tongue and top of the tongue. It's making me sweat a bit. Yeah, they're not so hot that I was worried about eating the whole pod. So thirty to fifty thousand. Pretty warm. I don't think it's quite as warm as the ones that I that I ate last year that I got the seeds from to grow these. But it's it's pretty warm. <clears throat> Hitting low in the throat, there's a lot of warmth in my chest. like a cherry candy essence to the flavor in addition to that perfumey 
effervescence up into my nose, which is running now. Drool still keeping up. Oh. Yeah, sweating a bit in the forehead region. Actually, my scalp is pretty damp too. I felt that. Well, fairly damp in a few spots, like right in the center part. My head actually feels a little warm. Tip of the tongue still going. Back part of the, on the top of my tongue. It's got a good little glow to it. Prickle in my throat is subsiding. It's more taken over the inside of my mouth now with a warm, uh, prickly glow. Which is another uh, suspicion I have that, that these are a frutessens variety. The way the <coughs> plants grew, they got they tended to be really tall. One was, was a few inches taller than the other one, but uh, fairly tall, leafy. Um, I'd have to do a study to. I know that there are other ways of determining. So I know that like certain ones are on the boundary. Generally, in my experience, though flavor of the peppers themselves is usually a pretty good indicator. Um, so I've never had a um, chin ince that tasted like an annuum. Like all the ones in the habanero family, whether it's the seven pots, habaneros, etc., they all tend to have a pretty um, definable set of flavor characteristics so that I'm not going to mistake a bikino for an annuum variety. The pe even though the textures of the peppers might vary, like the seven pots tend to be thinner skinned, etc., well, thinner flesh, but generally speaking, the flavors are in a similar neighborhood across the board for the chin ends, and the same with the annuums. Uh, some tend to be a little bit more bitter, some tend to be um, more tart or sweet, but the core flavors tend to be in the same kind of neighborhood. Same with frutessens and bacadums. I've noticed have a very sharp line of demarcation for their flavor across the board, even if each individual pepper that I've had with the, those tastes different. Anyway, that's one of my pivot points for my uh, contention that this is a fruit essence. Uh, so I just give it a bird's eye name and whew, sweat. It's a good burn. It's not extremely intense or stingy. Just a nice warm blanket uh, with prickles interspersed, kind of twinkling in and out. Very nice. So, alright, I'm gonna edit this video a little, tiny little bit. I'm gonna shave a little bit off in the middle when I was taking the seeds out, and yeah, thanks for watching. A bird's eye from my garden. Good stuff. I'm got gonna have a ton of seeds, so I'll be spreading the wealth around to various folk and <laughs> See you later.